Hey, what's up, everybody? So today we're gonna change the drive belts, or you wanna call them uh, fan belts on the D21 here. Uh, I haven't found any videos online to do it, so I'm gonna try to give you the best detailed video on how to get to this. Uh, first, I wanna point out where the actual uh, the tensioners are. So you got, this is your highest belt right here. This is for the power steering. As you can see, it's the pump. And you got your tensioner here. Then you got your pulley bolt here. Now we're gonna move over to the alternator. You go down, you got your alternator tensioner here. Then you got the pulley bolt right here, or to loosen it. And I think you got one right here. And if I'm correct, there is one on the bottom here. You got, last but not least, the AC, AC belt, which is right here. And then you got your pulley bolt here. And then along the bottom back end, you got your tensioner. Okay, so we get our 14, loosen this up a bit. You want to loosen it almost about more than half. This I turned it three times, maybe four times. Get this loose to where you can twist it with your hand, but not loose enough to where it comes off because you don't want it to come off. So you'll see your belt widening out. Once it gets really wide, you just kind of play with it, wiggle it, bam, it's off. Got that off. And I kind of, you don't have to take your fan fan clutch off just slide it through the fan area and it's off your first belt off all right so that one's off now we're gonna move on to the alternator all right guys so check this out so for the alternator side you're gonna crack this bolt loose turn it to where it's moving it's loose enough to move get this one where it's loose enough to wobble around there and what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna go on the bottom here. Save yourself some time, go on the bottom. <laughs> and if you're not strong enough, and don't like tugging and shit like me, see this bolt here? Right here. That bolt, you can either get it with a regular wrench or whatever, but I use a breaker bar. Come on. There we go. All right. So that should be loose enough to work. Grab my 14. Just loosen this on up. And once you do that, you're gonna see that belt give. Not the right. Belt. So basically, after you loosen this one up here, this is loose enough to turn on my hand now. But look at the belt. That's how loose it's gonna be. You just go back up top, take that sucker off. So basically, it's all loosened up. You wanna push this alternator forward. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Push it forward. And bam, pop that fucking thing up. Sorry for cussing. But yeah, pop it off and run it through the fan if you can. All right, so we're two belts down. Looking pretty good. So uh, another thing you can do too is Twist these when you get them off. Make sure everything's good. Make sure there's no weird ass noise coming from them. Uh, mine's not making any noise. So. so we got our last belt here. So this one requires being on the bottom. And yeah, it's pretty easy. The first two are easy. Right, so I cracked this bolt loose. See, I got it loose enough to where it's wiggling. I could move it with my hand crack this bad boy loose twist it to where it's you know you can move it so you're gonna want to push your pulley in BAM pop that sucker off get it from the top we just arrived at na 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 to get our new belts and I need a pulley uh, I'm gonna take a chance and 
just replaced my pulley anyway, just in case it's bad. So we got all three of our belts. I paid a little more than I wanted to, but screw it. You know, that's the name of the game. Um, I went ahead and got a pulley for my AC, because that's where I'm getting that squeak at. Every time I cut my car, and it's like, <laughs> give it some gas, <laughs> turn a corner. <laughs> so I ain't trying to have all that. That shit's embarrassing. You be looking like that fool that just don't fucking take care of your vehicle on the road. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put all this back on. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You do everything the same way as you took it off. But I'm going to go ahead and film a little bit of it. Um, the tightening process. I'm going to wrap everything around, put it back, and you know, just show you how I get these bolts put back in. So I got the AC belt on. And let me tell you, it's a bitch. But the only reason why, okay, I was trying to put it on without taking the pulley off. But I strongly, strongly recommend you get this pulley off. Just take it off, wrap the belt around the compressor, wrap it around the end of the pulley, I mean the cranks, uh, crankshaft, and uh, take this off and push it up. And when you push it up, wrap the belt around it and it's gonna go in place. Then you can stretch it back down after you get everything good. Once you get your pulley on there, I mean your belt on there around the shaft and everything, you're gonna pull this towards you and you're gonna tighten this to get the belt nice and tight. You want it to be at least like this where it's not super tight, where it can't move, but it has enough tightness on it that it's gonna go smoothly without going all over. Then you're gonna tighten up your pulley bolt here. All right. Okay, so we got the second belt on. Getting the alternator one on was a little bit tricky. Okay, so you go through the fan, get this around here, get it around the bottom. Then you get it around this pulley. And what you want to do is turn the fan as you get it on each side. It uh, makes it easier because it kind of moves the the belt into place. So if it's not fitting, twist the fan a little bit, get it to fit. Don't fit, twist the fan a little bit, get it to fit. Or if you want to take the fan off and just do it another way, you can. But that's what I did and it helped me. So now one more. I ran it through the fan, put it on normally. But I loosened the pulley all the way and the tensioner, I loosened it all the way because it barely gives you enough slack to get that thing on. But it should look something like that. Then you just put it back, put the tensioner bolt back in and tighten everything back up. And that's it. That's how you put your belts on your hard body, D21. Now the last thing you want to do is just mess with your tensioners to make sure you're tight. You don't want to be too tight, you just want to have enough play. Um, I think all of mine are good, I don't have a gauge or anything like that, so I'm going to just start it up and see how it is, and if it starts smoking I'm going to loosen it. So that's it, good luck. <laughs> 